reimagining of an old school classic one I spent many, 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 many hours on. Contra in the form of Contra Operation Galuga. I think what it is. Yes. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, for games like this or game playthrough license, I like to choose easy because I want to see how the game plays and get a better understanding of it without getting my behind whipped. Of course, during the course of this video, I still get my behind whipped um, every now and again. And you have uh, your two main characters, Bill and Lance. And one of the things I do like about this game is that as we go further along, uh, over in Europe, Contra was called Projectobot. So the main characters, Bill and Lance, who got their origins as ripoffs of Schwarzenegger and Sloan, are replaced by robots because of our European rules on violence is not as violent if it's robots. So that's what happens. And I actually have a Contra collection, so I have all of the different versions of Contra to really test it out. And you see those characters in this game as well. When you go to the arcade mode, you can choose either Bill or Lance or the two protector boss and then this young lady right here who's one of the island natives you can choose her to play with as well and I'm pretty sure as you traverse to the game now this is just a demo you will probably be able to unlock all of those characters or you meet those characters in certain points of the game which you'll see here at least the protector bots and Bill shows up as well because I, I picked a Lance to start off with you'll be able to play as those characters going through the game. Now, let's be real. Do we really care about a story when it comes to Contra? Okay, terrorists, we gotta go kill terrorists, big guns, lots of weapons, run a gun. That's all we really need. Um, but I appreciate Contra and Way Forward, who has been really big in these sort of retro 2.5D games as of late. I appreciate them trying to flesh out a story for this game when there really doesn't need to be one. <laughs> it's Contra for goodness sakes. So with this you do have the option of choosing a life bar which you saw there earlier or a one hit kill which is akin back to the original Contra where you start out with just three men. It makes me wonder if I'd choose one hit kill if the Konami code uh, would work. We shall find out. Well, probably not in the demo. Uh, I love to see if that works in the full game release when it is out. So, yeah. Is anybody paying attention to the story? Because I'm not. I'm just waiting to blow some stuff up. We can't risk yeah, 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 yeah. We know, we know. Okay. Aliens. Even just storing. We are technology. Red Falcon terrorists. Surprisingly, it took six months for them to get there, though, from the uh, original uh, attack that happened. So, they really did want to flesh out the story. This could have been a couple cutscenes and got to the fight. But of course, this is the demo, and I'm not sure, obviously, if this is going to be the same sort of uh, setup in the full game. I do like the fact that the music is very present. I wish it was a bit more pronounced. Um, in the background, the classic country music, and I'm not going to try to uh, do do out the uh, country music. I do enjoy the graphics for this game. It is something that I feel as though it's. It reminds me, and this is not in a bad way, of a mobile game. So I'm not sure if this game is on mobile as well, but it's definitely one that. At least in this case, I feel like I'm playing an updated version of the original, specifically the Nintendo version of Contra. Because that, the nuances of that, it, it, that's one of those games that really was refined for the home console, especially if you go back and play the original one. While obviously the graphics are, are dulled down, it just plays so much better then the arcade uh the handling the fun factor was just amped up and with the contra collection as well as i have uh contra backwards compatible for my 360 days and that was the arcade version is interesting flipping between the arcade as well as the nintendo version or nes version of the game to see the similarities and differences and how just the from a gameplay perspective i think the nes game was just far superior maybe i'm biased because of how many hours I put in and, and trying to master the Konami code uh, and playing with my boy and just us going through it back and forth over and over and over and just never stop playing it. 
but this demo right here just serves a really good uh, reminder of those classic times. I do love the spray gun. I don't think who wants anything other than a spray gun when you're playing Contra, just to take out enemies in multiple directions at once. I do like the sort of um, turning of the board as you go along and traversing through this terrain, which again, very good to the very good shout out to developers. It's very lush and green. It still has a cartoony fair, uh, but not overly realistic. I feel like I'm playing a Contra game. And I know there was a country game that came out maybe a year or two ago and it was critically panned. Well, not just critically, critically, and everybody hated it because it was, in many people's opinions, absolutely horrible and didn't feel like a country game. So this may be somewhat of a redemption for the series. I also played Contra Hard Corps, which came out on the uh, 360 era, uh, PS3 era as well. And that was, it was a different country game, but it felt like Contra. So I, I really appreciate that, and I really appreciate this. This is this is exactly what I grew up with, just brought up into the modern era. I, I do also know something you'll see later: the ability to hold onto two guns and to switch between the two, have a primary and a secondary weapon, which was really cool. I really enjoyed that, and I thought that was a new, unique twist on it. Because you know, we hate once you get the gun you want, you hate having to drop it for another one, and. Like, for even knowing this gameplay, I keep the spray gun as long as possible because it's just so awesome. But I, I hate the fire gun, and I'll pick that up eventually if I haven't picked it up already. I forget in this gameplay because uh, I got rid of it pretty quickly. Uh, don't like the machine gun either. I, the fire gun just has such a limited bandwidth or length of field to shoot. I don't like it. Spray goes across the field. Laser, I really like the updated laser on this one as well. So I thought that was really, really cool. Oh, and the ability to charge up your weapon to do this like, screen clearing or firing sort of shot is a really awesome addition. And it's something I didn't think about when I was fighting the boss toward the end, which is something I should have done. So yeah, it's it's really cool, uh, and I don't see how. Well, I can see how, but making it with one hit kills would be a pain in the butt uh, for something like this. Uh, I love the up and down. I, I love just the field of view change for this. And here you see one of the protected bot characters, basically a dude in an army suit, as far as this game is concerned. Uh, talking to you again. I love the inclusion of it. It's such an homage to the past history of the well, history of the past, but the history of the series uh, by including the protector bots as well. And then this is such a so reminiscent of the first stage in the original Contra. Obviously, not a one to one, but the bridges, the, the jungle theme, all of it, even the end boss is very reminiscent of the end of the first level of Contra, both at home as well as in the arcade. Again, uh, this is the laser here, so I really like how the laser works and is very destructive as well, which I really enjoy. I like the, the hanging parts, or at least the latter parts. It's somewhat difficult because you you can't move and shoot at the same time, which is what something I would have liked to have happen. So here we are a little bit further down there. I think I died once or twice um, as far as that's concerned. So again, still working with the laser and he hit me. But again, this is where that life bar comes into play, which is really cool. And he's going to hit me with the grenade. I don't know why I was thinking Mario, I wanted to slide down. Spray gun again. And this is where I figure out how to switch. I think switch, yeah, switching through the different guns, which again is a very, very cool aspect. Oh, what I didn't show in this one is the, the missiles. The missiles are just like an awesome gun to have. Uh, now this, I thought, okay, yeah, it's just like the original game. Oh, here we go. No, it's not too much of a machine gun. I don't want that. Now the missiles. Homing missiles just so awesome, so destructive. It's, like, it's almost like you're on autopilot when it comes to killing everything. 
Sorry, I have to de defeat that one. Okay, I think I'm done. No, another one pops up. I was like, I did not expect that. I thought I was going to just, okay, you know, just like the original one. Nope, they're like, nah, homie. You got to fight it again. And that laser beam just took me out because I did not see that coming whatsoever. When I play through this again, I'll know exactly what to expect. All right, you finish this one. You think you're done, right? Nope. And this is where I'm about to die <laughs> because I did not ration and play as if I thought I was going to have a three-level boss to beat. And that's it. That's it, game over.